All right, well, I am live. Uh, you guys will not get this notification for a second, so I'm going to use this time to share this around a little bit. What is up, Mr. Cyan Hat Guy? What do you how you doing? How you doing, Barry? How you doing, Sayofi? How you doing, PR Johnny? Uh, Doc, how's it going? How y'all doing? We're, we got a new a new monster taming game on Roblox that just uh, put out a demo. So we're gonna check it out. It's got a few things that I think will set it apart from uh, Lumion Legacy and Doodle World. And uh, we're gonna get into that in a second, but I just want to make sure I am um, sharing this with the adequate platforms uh let the devs know i'm sharing their game oh their game's even got a hashtag already if you don't know twitter doesn't actually assign a hashtag unless enough people are tweeting something so like it won't suggest it unless it's popular enough <clears throat> um at any given time anyway um yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah, I wasn't planning on streaming tonight, but then I was like, oh shit, this game's coming out. We gotta we gotta stream it. And I gotta let the Discord peeps know too. But uh, everybody let me know how you're doing, and um, let me know if you've played this game already and what you think, if you have. It just launched, though. <clears throat> alright, alright, we're gonna start now. What's up, OS? Yeah, you can play the demo too. I put it in the... Uh, description box so you can play along if you'd like what's up rescue squad jungle fat how's it going didn't know it launched i was eating yeah it launched at 5 p.m est but i was working and the kids go to bed at 7 so now's the time that i'm able to do it um yeah i'm excited i'm excited to try some new it's, there's actually two more roblox monster shaming games outside of tales of tenario um doodle world and lumion which seem to be like the big three there there's this one and then there's actually two other ones that i've been sort of keeping track of behind the scenes that are early access that look like they might be promising anyways let's check out the starters here <clears throat> known as the firebird of the self conic's name comes from its vermilion colored wings its behavior is noble and elegant conic's is is it conic's or conic's whatever is a very has a sorry has a very picky attitude and tends to be very selective on what it eats it uses its fiery breath okay it's a fire type obviously um, Azalon. Ooh, the, ooh, this is a dragon, bro. Might have to go with the dragon. Known as a wood dragon of the east, the, this Kinolite is uh, very territorial. It constantly on the lookout for danger and ready to strike in an instant. Uh, my, informi my informatives say it's known to snarl if it feels threatened. I think we're going with the dragon, but we can check the other ones. The water turtle of the north. This water warrior is known to be very friendly. People believe in the second incarnation of the water deity due to its immense potential. The snake latched on uh, lives in harmony with Snartle. Uh, I'm unsure how this duo works. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice that there. Yeah, he has a little snake tail. Uh, then we got this guy. Oh, another dragon. Dragnir, the earth dragon. Oh, snap. I don't know, guys. Screw the cat. I don't know, guys. The wood dragon or the earth dragon? I'm feel I'm feeling the wood dragon. I'm going with the wood dragon. Yeah, they have new updates too. Yeah, Lumion's got it uh, yesterday. I want to try to stream it tomorrow morning, so we'll probably do that. Yeah, no cat. There, 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 there's enough cats. All right, we're going with the wood dragon. Are you familiar with Bitmon? Never heard of it. Fairlight World, that was one of them that I was thinking of. And there's another one that uh, doesn't even have an official name yet, but the dev's been messaging me. Well, Fairlight World, the dev's been messaging me too. Or, no, no, sorry, not Fairlight World. There's another, another one, sorry. There's one called Dwellure Battlegrounds as well. That's uh, gonna be a thing. So anyway, let's get this Ancient Dragon Boy. 
I look tall. Why do I look so tall? Why do I look so tall in this game? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stream that tomorrow morning, most likely. I wanted to put priority on this just because uh, it's new. Like, it's a new thing. The, the Lumion one, it, it does have new stuff, but it's uh, the same event as last year. But I do want to stream it tomorrow. So let's see what we can do in this demo. Remember, this is just a very, very, like, basic demo. So there's not going to be, like, a whole lot of crazy stuff. But as you can see, there's overworld encounters, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, the battles take place in the... Yo! You can actually see people while you fight? That's... Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so battle system seems, like, pretty similar to Lumion strike oh I can actually walk around the battlefield too there we go what is this red stuff um did my guy faint oh I lost okay <laughs> I lost I wonder if people can see your battles as they happen. I don't think so, but it's definitely a possibility. I mean, you guys can feel free to come join me if you're around. Oh, they all get summoned from a book. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's try to fight something that's a lower level. Wait, I didn't mean to touch him. He might beat me up because he's a wind type. Let's try to find something that's not a wind type. Oh, look at these jumps, though. You can't jump this high in Doodle World. Mm. Yes! 10 out of 10. The fact that I can do this makes the game 10 out of 10 instantly. Can I just, like, hang out in the tree? <laughs> yeah, the characters look, like, big. Okay, what's this thing? You're level 5. That's a fire... Type. We need something we could fight. That's a bird. I might have got. I might have made a mistake with the, with the wind. Or sorry, with the with the wood type. Okay, you're a bug. No, I was thinking about Doodle World. You can jump. I might have said Lumion by accident. Wait, I'm not getting. I'm not getting two v one, am I? It doesn't look like there's battle animations yet. <clears throat> and there's definitely a little bit of... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any battle animations yet. But no, yeah, you can see the other people fighting. Look. Eevee Boy's fighting this thing. Get out of here. We gotta see if we can break out of bounds. That's what we had, that, that, that that's the goal of every demo is to just break out of bounds. No! There's an invisible wall. This all has collision. Yeah, there's an invisible wall around everything. But still, we might be able to find some interesting stuff up here. I got out of bounds and encounter. Oh, okay. I glitched under the water. Oh, okay. What is this? It's a lollipop. What? What is that? Oh, this guy's fighting it. Oh, okay. How's this guy riding a mount? How's this guy riding a scooter? I want a scooter. Or is that just part of your character? Let's 
strike. You buy them for $500 in game. Oh, okay. Ed's actually playing Kinolite? Yes. That's the event one you encounter? Okay. My guy died. You are very colorful. Oh, okay, here's the scooters. How do you get in-game money? I got no money. Are there people to fight, maybe? Well, there is a waypoint. Yeah, but this game is gonna be completely open world, which is another thing that I think is uh, pretty interesting. Does this cost Robux to play? No, I don't know, it's free. Okay. What's over here? Hello there, it seems as if you're a new Kinolite trainer. Here in Affinity Park, there's no island challenge, so I'm going to run my own mini island challenge. How does that sound? An island challenge will be made up of a series of quests with adventures, rewards, battles, and much more. Each time you complete a quest, I'll give you a decent reward, and at the end, I'll assign you an extra hard quest to prove yourself. To start, I like to have new trainers help out somebody. I saw a boy next to the conic statue who looked like he was in need some, of some help. I'll ping his location for you, but if you ever want to turn off the ping, you can go... Okay. Damn right, you better ping his location. I don't want to look for people. What do you think this is? What do you think? What do you think? I'm made of time? <laughs> Jumping on stuff is fun. Wait, what happens if I go here? Oh, I can't. Okay. I like that you can just like <laughs> jump on the tree. Hold on. Y'all in chat, whoever wants to play this should try to see if you can find me. Come on, jump through the leaves. Now, where's this kid? What's up? Oh, I can't stand these cran edges anymore. They keep coming and eating my plants <laughs> as I'm stepping on them. I uh, <laughs> fell 30 feet onto them. Well, I guess I need some way to deal with them. If you're a kinolite trainer and have some time, would you mind helping me? Yeah, let's do it. Thank goodness your life's here. Uh, Cranages are those weird. You already stepped on the flowers. <laughs> weird bird kinolites that walk all over the place. I'm sure you've seen them by now. Try knocking some of them out around here. They're not the brightest, but they should be smart enough to take this as a warning. Smelly. There. Oh, you could fight the train. Okay, that's a train. that what happened okay let's see if we can find some birds to kill also if you guys hear background noise don't mind um because i'm at my in-laws house now because we're in the midst of uh, selling our house and um why can't i fight you and their uh, son just came from college for a week so everybody's kind of being loud okay i can't fight him for some reason i don't know if the quest is maybe glitched i can fight this though which isn't what i'm here to fight but why not kill it Congrats on what? What did I do? Oh, 
Okay, that that one's no good for some reason. This is in the title, uh, Kinolite Kingdom. It's a it's a free monster taming demo that's on uh, Roblox right now. Oh well, I mean I'm trying to sell the house, and <laughs> the market's kind of kind of bad for selling right now, but. We're trying to get out before the recession. <laughs> so we're trying to move. We're trying to. We're trying to change where we're moving, but I don't know. It's it, it's been having a hard time selling, so we'll see. Okay, that one's dead. Anyone know what the max level is? No idea. I'm level five. <laughs> Isn't that all that matters? You! <laughs> this, this is this bird's nightmare. Max is level 10. There's no animations for attacks, no. It's, it, it's very early. This is just like a proof of concept. Because if, really, if, if you really think about it, like all, all animations are visual. As long as the actual systems work and that's what they're testing, that's what's important. You can always add flair to stuff, but you can't really add flair to bad coding. It just doesn't help. It doesn't fix the core issues, right? Ooh, this one's hanging out in the tall grass. It ain't like that in this game, bro. That thing says 108 meters. I'm pretty sure that's not 108 meters. <laughs> oh, oh, it, it was talking about him. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? He's right in front of me. What do you mean? Ugh. Yes. This is how you guys are going to see me in game. Just jumping. <laughs> Whose stats do you think you're lowering, bro? Do you know who I am? A Kinolite Kingdom. I'm still trying to convince like the broader monster taming community to try some of these games on Roblox because uh, a lot of people like including me before I actually tried Lumion were are, are just like oh it's Roblox it's gonna be stupid but but it's like it was actually like the games are actually good man It's like those people who won't use Facebook just because, like, old people are on it now. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it still works. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, there's too many kids on Roblox. Well, you don't have to play with them. <laughs> you just, just do your own thing, man. Me, no, no, my favorite, though, is, like, is like we, half of us play Pokemon, but no, Roblox, that's the little kid thing. Oh, I'm too old for that. No, my guy fainted. Damn it. That's how I feel, gross Roblox. Give it a try. I didn't even know what Roblox was. I just thought it was like, I thought these games were like mods. Like I didn't really understand how it worked. Well, I won't show you guys scams. And if I accidentally do, that means I'm getting scammed too. So <laughs> rest rest assured, we'll suffer together. Yeah, I'll do uh, probably tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. EST. I'll probably do a, uh, a stream for Lumion's uh, Halloween event. I'll just do it before work. How many did I kill? Did I kill enough? Do, do I need to kill some more? I 
I've never done the Halloween event before, so it'll be my first time giving it a shot. I'm not expecting it to be too crazy. There's also going to be part two to Lumion Legacy Halloween event. Oh, okay. Yo, what's it? <laughs> what? Excuse me? Why was there a fit? Oh, you could fish. It's only good for new players. Oh, okay, okay. Well, there should be some entertainment value for you guys then, since it's my first time. Is, is it, this game is swimming? I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's fishing. I need to level up. Experience growth is really, really slow in this game. That's one thing I noticed right off the bat. Maybe that's intentional for the demo. But, um, like, usually if you kill a bunch of, like, level 3s and 4s, you level up at least once. Like, I think if you kill a level 3, like, let's say, like, a Wismer, and you're level 5, and you're, like, a starter, you'll generally be, like, just under level 6. I know that because of ROM hacking stuff. I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's making much of a difference. I mean, while you're working, I did some research and found a Kinolite repeal. I'll try using that on the... Did he say repeal? He spelt it wrong. But thanks. Here's some rewards for your help. What'd you give me? Repeal. You spelt it wrong. Unforgivable. That's a mortal sin. Okay. Jumpy, you say? Does my mic still sound okay, by the way? Oh, hold on. My encoder is giving me issues. That's why. I don't think it's the actual game. I think it's my, uh... I think it's my stream. Let me see if... Let me see if there's not a, a setting that I can... I can use to fix this. Is there no settings in this game? Oh, okay, there's no settings. Yeah, so we're just going to have to deal with... Uh... <laughs> it should be fine now. Mike's good, okay. Yeah, the visuals might be a little off. It might stutter a little bit. Wait, you already helped the boy? Now that was fast. I didn't even have enough time to give you your rewards from the last quest. Let me complete the last quest for you. If you missed it, the rewards are 50 cash, 3 seals, and 3 potions. Next time, check your quest menu for the rewards of my quests. Now, since you skipped my quest, let me give you the reward for that quest. You gained 5 seals, 100 cash, and the mercy talisman. The special talisman you can teach to move mercy to any kinolite. Go into your menu. Okay. The special thing about Mercy is that it will not KO. Okay, it's false swipe. That's something nice to have right away. I know the fisherman over there loves to teach people how to fish. On top of that, he has plenty of fishing pools. Oh, here's my here's my uh, here's my squad. Or you could help out the bug catcher with his research. I'll ping both of them. Okay. All right, let's go help this Magikarp fisherman. Look, the squad. We got the squad, boys. Yeah. We're going to run up on this fisherman. Yo, let's let's run the, <laughs> what's it called? Let's run this fisherman's pockets. Yo, run me them pockets, bro. can't talk to him. Why can't I talk to you? Yeah, well, let me talk to him. Oh, there we go. Hello there. I can tell you're a Kinolite trainer. You can use a fishing pole like this to fish them up and ba to battle them and capture them. If you want, I can give you a fishing pole and teach you the basics. Oh, wow. How nice of you. 
And you're gonna give me money? Sweet. All right, let's begin. Here's your fishing rod. You got five bait. Next, go up to a body of water and all you have to do is click on it while you have bait in your inventory. After that, a symbol will appear sometime once it happens as, quick, as quickly as you can to fish up the candlelight. Uh, then it's up to you with the, okay. Okay, three blubbish. Wait. Wait, is that Tails from Sonic? It is. Why is this cat on the on the in the sky? Okay, let's check. Let's test Gym Leader Ed's reaction time. Whoa! All right, blubbish. Get wrecked. All right, we're gonna hit him one more time, and then we're gonna go for the catch. Yo, they have a lot of room for improvement. Yeah, this is very, this is like an alpha. Like this is like a demo. They called it early access, but this is more like a demo. Oh, I like the seals though. They're, those are kind of cool. It's like a scroll. Oops, it got out. Oh. How do they live in this green water? Don't worry about it. <laughs> the real question is... Get in the... Get, get in the scroll. This is how you catch... This is the secret method, guys. Not even close. Screw you. I like that I can just jump while I'm fighting. <laughs> Looks blurry. Check your uh, check your settings. Make sure it's set to 1080p. I think this is just a special demo on the island. What happened? Did I catch it? Oh, I caught it! Yay! Uh, do we do also the kinolite uh, appear everywhere? Like this whole massive area is basically Route One. I, I, yeah, I, I think this is just a demo area. That's what I think's going on. I'm about to fish some dinner. Same. He, he said he just wanted me to beat up three of them, right? One out of three. It doesn't say. Oh, here we go. Oh, I have to catch three of them. That's such a waste of. Okay, whatever. See what he gives me. I want a scooter. Reaction time! Kick its ass. Looks way better now, thanks, Ed. No problem. Sometimes it uh, um, will auto set you to a lower uh, to a lower thing, it, especially if you're using mobile. If you're on data, it, a lot of times it'll it'll auto put you on like 380p or, or not 380, 3 uh, 360p, just so that like you're saving data. What up, TDMO? How you doing? Catch, catch, jump, jump. This is how you catch everything. Yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying, guys? The book's cool. It reminds me of Zatch Bell. They should bring Zatch Bell back. That show was dope. Oh, no. I forgot I'm low health on everything. Oh, we're gonna get swept.
All right, Hail Mary. Before it kills us. Run! 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 <laughs> GG. <laughs> Secret catching trick. Call it the uh, gym leader Ed. Um, I'm trying to think of a funny name. Ed jumping or something. It's fine. <laughs> I can't think of anything. It's too late at night. <clears throat> All right, boys. Oh. Okay. Level two? You disgust me. How am I still level five, though? What's your opinion on the Zatch Bell 2 manga? That's a thing? I didn't even know that was a thing. I need to I need to actually fully watch the original. I just watched like a bunch of different episodes as a kid. I don't even know how it ended. And don't spoil that for me. <laughs> I need to watch the original again. I just saw like a bunch of episodes when I was a kid on uh, oh what do they call YTV because I'm in Canada had like an anime thing at night I forget what it was called it was called like they had a couple they kept changing the name one of them was like Bionics or something or was, or was that the Saturday one Saturday one was Vortex I don't remember but anyway they had a thing <laughs> with anime <laughs> that's where I used to watch it nice work I've been watching you so don't uh so you don't got to go through the hassle of showing me which one you've caught. Here, here's your reward. Remember, try fishing in many different places. Okay. What did I get? Oh, it doesn't show. Whatever. How much money do I have? Oh, I can't. Can I not see how much money I have? Oh, oh, wait. No, I can't. I don't know how much money I have. Okay, you know what? Let's go try to get a scooter. You smacked your knee on a rock? Ow. Do I get to choose the... the color? I, w I don't want a red one. I want a green one or a blue one, man. Does it have to be red? Fine. How do I use it now? Oh, what did I press? Oh, it's Q. Ed pays to win. Scooters get wins, bro. Now that you know the basics of being a oh, I already talked to you. Shut up. I hate you. What's this? Is that a floating mount? <laughs> yeah, Zatch Bell got a sequel. That's dope. Hard miss read. I cut my foot on a rock. Dang. Well, sorry, what was the whole thing? I smacked my right knee in a corner and cut my right foot on a rock. Well, you know what? I'd, uh, I'd almost say that you were caught between a rock and a hard place there, eh? <laughs> the first thing I thought when I saw this thing was, oh, it looks kind of like uh, Bari.
Come on, Blubbish number three. You got this. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. This takes up 15 energy. So what happens if I overuse it? Oh, I can't even see. The rock was outside, but the corner was inside. And yet you were still stuck between them. <laughs> Ow. Okay, it might rest next turn. Go seal. Or or get it like a seal. Ha! Come on, wiggle. Oh, was that like a critical catch or something? What happened? Oh oh oh. Okay, I thought I caught. Here, I'll kick. I'll ki I'll kick him in. I'll I'll kick him in the back. This guy's name's Yikes. Come on, jumping, jumping method. Why is he not inside? What is happening? No! I'm out of Mons. I'm out of here. Is this a hover scooter? <laughs> yeah. It's fine, I'm down. I'm down with the hover scooter. So what happens if I try to get into battle? I can't, okay. My only complaint is it should just let you jump just cause. <laughs> cause why not? Okay, seriously, we need to level up. Let's go kill something. You. Get over here, stupid bird. Die. But don't worry, I put a band-aid on the cut. Oh, well, that band-aids heal all wounds. If your arm ever gets severed off, just use a band-aid, you'll be fine. That's the most beloved game would be a jumping simulator with monsters. Ooh, I got an attack finally. Let's try Vine Smite. Dang, son. Beating up those level twos like they're nothing. <laughs> Who this? Oh, level three? What does that mean? Does that mean his mons are level three? Get smited, bro. Oh, it resists. Who would have guessed? Out leveling your opponent and bullying them? That's my kind of day. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Earth Dragon, eh? Come here. Oh, ho, ho, water. Oh, wait. It's like an ice type or something? Or is this also a grass type? Oh, it's also a grass type. Okay. Fair enough. Look at this yikes guy. He's dancing. The battle theme kind of sounds a little bit like Gangster's Paradise, I'm not going to lie. Not this part, but before. Oh, look, he died. I beat him so bad he died. 
I'm a okay with that with that outcome. Okay, there's some bug catcher that we gotta help too now. Bug catcher. All over there. Okay. Come here, little bug catcher. I got a present for you. You know the artist of gangster. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Hey. That wasn't an NPC who needed help. Oh, Affinity Park Exploration, one out of three. Defeat three trainers. Oh, okay. All right, let's go beat some people up. I'm gonna catch you first. Uh, Roblox, um, generally speaking, like uh, uh, most games also will work on your mobile phone. Some even work on Xbox. And like, if you got a Steam Deck, there's also a way to get Roblox on there, <laughs> which is pretty OP. I'm not gonna lie. One, two. Oh yeah, we gotta jump. We gotta jump. See, we didn't jump. See, and he got out. That's the secret meta, guys. This is the meta. Metaverse! Metaverse jump! Wait, what if I jump? What if we jump in unison? Dang it. I can jump while throwing? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm nine years old, okay. <laughs> it's it, look, it, I, it's out of the it's out of the scroll. Yes, I caught it. Fuck you. Okay. Let's go fight some trainers, man. First, we gotta heal. Spaz and Angel. Ed doesn't listen to me. It depends. Wait, where's Spazin at? I don't even see him. Oh, there you are. Aren't you the one who taught your son? Barry's only my dad when he pays. Okay, uh, do I want to fight the level 5 trainer? Not really. Find a weaker one. Not the ooh. -oo. No, you're even stronger. I want to fight someone weaker. Dude, one thing I got to say, though, is I really like the overworld encounters. Like, more monster taming games need it. I want to say the first game that I can think about, like, chronologically that came up with them was actually uh, Monster Hunter Stories 1. But I'm sure there's games that did it before. But that's the first one, like, that I recognize that's, like well implemented I guess that game came out in like 2016 but I'm sure there's games that came out before okay I'll just fight Jake let's fight Jake oh, get smited bro here critical hit this is how you get a crit you jump 
Wait, did he switch? Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think you are? He switches? That's unacceptable. That is not the way we behave in this household. And he's using potions? What do you think this is? Some sort of degenerate game? Did we get stuck? <laughs> Not allowed out. I think we got stuck. Oh, I can't even reset character. Oh, no. Yeah, we got stuck. Have some lunch money, son. Hey, thanks for the five bucks. Barry, my good friend. Appreciate you. There it is. Now you gotta call him daddy. Thanks, daddy. Battling NPCs breaks the game. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. Leave. Damn it, I don't want to agree to your, your policies. Wait, do I... Do I have to, like, find the game again, too? No, it was... Kinolite. I... You, you know what? Hold on. I still have it here. One sec. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. Oh, shoot! My, uh, YouTube... My, my YouTube studio just told me we hit 10 million views on the channel. Your videos are getting so much interest in playtime. Dang, guys, we hit 10 million views on the channel. Damn, son. 50k subs is next. That's what's, that's what's happening. Okay, let's try fighting again. 10 million views, that's nuts. I still remember when we hit 5 million. I was like, holy crap, 5 million. My, my videos have been watched 5 million times. Now we're at 10. Jeez. You are winning the bet, it looks like, Barry. 50k subs grind. Yeah, I think we got 50k by the end of the, the year. Because we're going to... We we should hit 48 by tomorrow. Because I, I only need like 30 more to hit 48k. Then we got like over two months just to get 2k subs. Which I think we can do. Generally speaking, we do. But you never know. I don't want to get my hopes up, but I'm pretty sure we got it in the bag. 57k-ish by the end of the year? We'll see. I, I don't think so. I, I'm ha I was happy with 35 by the end of the year. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not complaining. I think 50k will be, will be like, very doable. Become a, a, a drama slash Minecraft slash Fortnite channel for a week. <laughs> I'll pass. I'd prefer to... I, I, I'd prefer not to. <laughs> uh, was this one? Oh, oh, did this guy steal the trainer from me? Fight me. Hey, how's your day? Not bad, not bad. I had to work today. That was yuck. But other than that, pretty good. Oh, what's this chest? Basic potions. Level three, let's go. <laughs> What's up, Poltergeist? Maybe 51 slash 57 is something big happens. Well, okay, so this is the thing. Pokemon's coming out, but like... I seem to get more traction with like non-Pokemon monster taming games. Mostly because, like, a lot of people cover Pokemon, whereas, like, I try to give a spotlight to these games that not as many people cover. But, like, like I said, either way, we'll hit, we'll hit 50 by the end of the year. That'll, that'll definitely happen. Like, like, I, I don't see that not happening unless things get, like, super slow. Like, I haven't, I haven't had a month where we gained less than, like, a thousand since, like, a year and a half ago. <laughs> so, like, I, I'm pretty sure that's, that's good, but... Dragon Quest Treasures, I'm excited for that game. 
Y you know what, though? Uh, Spazin, I actually uh, had more traction with Temtem, believe it or not. No, no, sorry. Temtem was more... Was more... Uh, I think... No, no, Coromon was more views. I think Temtem was more subs? I can't remember. When Coromon comes to mobile, my channel's gonna blow up. You know how many people are, are waiting for Coromon to come to mobile? All my old guides are gonna get a bunch of a bunch of people watching them. They're all gonna be like, finally! But then I won't get those mobile when questions anymore and I'll be sad. It'll be the end of an era. I'll literally say in a video, we don't know when it's coming to mobile yet. And someone will be like, when mobile? When Coromon mobile? <clears throat> Ed needs a shirt. Oh my god, okay. If I do merch, we're gonna do mobile when. That That's gonna be a shirt. But it's not when with the H. There's no H. A lot of the times people ask mobile when, they just put W E N. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Mobile when that's the best that that would be the best shirt <laughs> I'll buy it <laughs> You know for me what the best thing ever would be though is if I ever did sell merch The best would be like if I'm at work one day and someone comes on and I see them wearing my merch they, But they won't know it's me That'd be the best. Okay, um... The chances that would be highly unlikely, though. I think only 5% of my audience is actually from Canada. <laughs> if you go to your social blade when Temtem 1.0 launched, you got the most subscriber growth in your... Channel. Yeah, yeah, okay, so yeah, Temtem was subscribers. Mobile went. Thanks for the two dollars, Jungle Fat. <laughs> yeah, and then Coromon was my highest views. It was like almost a million. It was like 930k that month. I'm Canadian. A, hey, but are you? Are you? It depends what kind of Canadian are you. Pr which province are you in? That's the question. Because then five percent of my audience is can Canadian, but then it's like. Well, how many of them actually live near me? Actually, um, Reese, the guy who's making Monster Tribe, he actually lives like a few hours away from me, which is kind of funny. If we wanted to, we could totally meet up. Amazing Jog, th those are some impressive... There's a couple devs actually that live near me, near-ish. Those are some impressive battles. Now you've started some experience under your belt, I'll give you access to the final part of my mini island challenge. As you may have guessed, it's a battle against me. I recommend training up to level 10. Ooh. Pal World's going to be big. Yeah, I think uh, Tales of Tenario is going to be pretty decent. I think uh, Digimon, that, even though that Digimon game's like been out for like six years, I think that's going to be pretty big too. Just for like something to let's play. Um, I, I don't know how many guides I'd want to make for a game that's been out for six years. <laughs> There's probably already all the guides you could ask for, but... Uh, this guy wants me to get a few to level 10? Are you nuts? What do you sell? What else is... Oh, oh cassette beats is going to be huge. Um, I'll, make, I'll make sure it's huge. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to share the crap out of that game. Oh, oh, Lumen Tail. I don't know when it's coming out, but that's going to be pretty big too, I think. I'm excited for it. Like, th that's one of the games, like, I'm really excited for. Let me fight you. He died. Oh, Evo Creo 2 might also be uh, pretty significant, which, which is something I do want to play. I'm going to have to get blue stacks on my computer. This is a level seven, Jake. Oh no! This Jake's gonna beat me up.
Come on, you could you could do it. I believe in you. Don't shriek at me. Is it possible to play Evil Kuro 1? Uh, whenever Evil Kuro 2 gets its uh gets its release date, that I'll I'll play Evil Kuro 1 like a month before, so we could do a whole Let's Play series leading up to it. Um, same with Disc Creatures World. I think what we'll do is like um depending on how busy it is, like, like that that's all gonna depend. But depending on how busy it is, um, like just in the genre and stuff, I would like to do that for Disc Creatures as well. Like play the original leading up to the sequel type thing. Hey, what's up, Danny? Nice to see ya. Oh, no. Did we get glitched out? Yeah, we got glitched out. We gotta leave. We have to leave the experience. 10 million views. Dang. I, I got to make a post about that. That's pretty nutty. You guys are pretty sick. Okay, let's try this again. I <laughs> just got a bunch of blubbish. It's fine, man. That's a fine team I got here. I think 2023 is going to be an even bigger for you. Maybe. I don't know. 2022 had some pretty crazy releases. <laughs> Like, Temtem and Coromon were two, like, huge ones. But next year, we do have Cassette Beast. We do have Pal World. We, it's really starting to shape up. I think one thing about this year, though, was that we had releases so close to each other. Like, once a month. Oh, another big one for uh, my channel also was Digimon. Digimon Survive was a pretty big one, too. I feel like we might get some Nexomon 3 information next year, too. Which would be definitely be something that I want to see. Oh. What do we got here? We got some fodder. Support the gym leader. Okay, let's try to fight a person and hopefully not uh what's over here what is this it's a cool fountain looking thing i wonder if there's any like special stuff in this water why is he following me he's not even the one that's out you look like a trainer i can fight yeah. You are scary. Okay, YouTube just glitched my sub count. But um I'm very close to 48k. We we should get there soon. <laughs> uh do you do serum content? Here and there I have done a few serum videos. Um my thing with serum is just super complex. So it's hard for me to make like a lot of videos for it because I, I cover so many games. But I've definitely done a couple that, that I'm really proud of. Uh, one of them was uh, with the help of Cirque and... Um, oh, 
Ugh. Monster Ant. I can't remember the name of the, the person who wrote the original guide that I used as a reference, but they're mentioned in the video. That was one of them that I really uh, I really enjoyed doing. Um, but yeah, Serialum Ultimate was my first Serialum game ever. Uh, we did do a few streams for it too. You level eight? Yeah, no thank you. Level eight trainer, not level eight monsters. It seems like wild XP is kind of sus in this game, but uh, trainer XP is pretty decent. I'm thoroughly enjoying Time Jump. That's good. We need to finish the Let's Play. That That's like on my list. The thing is, okay, so when I finish the Let's Play of Temtem, we're going to focus more on the Doodle World Let's Play. And then after that, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to... I'm not entirely sure what the next Let's Play is going to be. Because, like, obviously Pokemon is going to be a Let's Play. But, like, in between Pokemon and Thing, I'm not 100% sure. So we'll, we'll see what we have time for. Because I'm not 100% sure when the next... Or when the Temtem Let's Play will even end. Because, like, I usually upload twice a day. But, like, I've had a bunch of new stuff, too. So, like, the Let's Plays have just been kind of taking a back seat. Fight me. She won't fight me. There we go. Uh, AXP from battles are worth more than wild battles. Yeah, yeah, I figured. It's, it's like that in most monster taming games, but... Serlum. Oh, it wasn't Monster Ant? I thought it was... I, I, wasn't it? I thought it was Gay Monster Ant. I couldn't remember. I know they changed their name. So that that's also one thing that got me confused. But yeah, they're OP. <laughs> they got all they got all the deets, as it were. Uh, okay, let's go. Oh, I think there's an EXP share in this game. Dragon Quest Treasure maybe in between? No, Dragon Quest Treasures comes out in uh, December. It comes out after. Dragon Quest Treasures is gonna be a let's play probably alongside Pokemon, because I usually do two let's plays. So that's probably what that. Lovish has a has a grass type attack. All right. Didn't do a lot because it's not very effective, but you know. Okay. Wait, what happens if I use an attack that I don't have enough stamina for? Oh, he just uses flail. That guide is insane. Yeah, yeah, like, it's nuts how in-depth it is. And I think there's even more um, specialization since then. So, yeah, that's a little bit. It's, it's just a little bit crazy. Yeah, I'm at a disadvantage here against a steel type. There, there's a lot of good games. And then there's not just that. Like, I've also wanted to do more Pokemon fan game stuff, too. I need to follow some of, like, the upcoming Pokemon fan games because... I personally like following stuff that's like on its way. So like as much as it's cool to like maybe do a video here and there on older fan games, like I like to follow like new stuff. I enjoy the hype personally. <laughs> I like following new games. Ah, uh, we got locked out again. Trainer battles are a little bit are a little bit uh messy right now. Again, to be expected, but it is what it is. loading up I'm trying to take this over here I want to take a screenshot of the 10 million thing while it was loading there send my wife why do I look like this who is this guy <laughs> game's not loaded in yet they stripped me of everything that I once was oh there I got my uniform back let me get on my little scooter 
What is this? I've never seen this before. Dang it, he... He stole it from me. Ooh, I, I, I don't think I like that mechanic. That someone could, like, steal your capture. Like, what if there's a shiny or something? That would suck. How's Ultra Kaiju Monster Rancher? So far, it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna make a, a not a not a, a review. Okay, one thing I want to say is I've seen full blown reviews out on the game. From, oh my god, this guy's a body pillow. That's jokes. From launch day, how are you? Nobody got the game early. Okay, especially the reviews that I've seen. How are you gonna review a game on launch day that you never got early? Explain. <laughs> I'm gonna make a first impressions video. Like, uh, is it any good so far? Like, I did with Digimon Survive? But like, how are you gonna come on here and say, oh, I'm reviewing this game that came out like five hours ago? Lumintail, uh, Kickstarter's in December. I'll definitely be supporting it. Uh, that's something I'm, I'm personally very interested in. And I think the devs have a good track record since Xeno, Xenoverse is like widely known as like one of the best Pokemon fan games. It's like you know, you know they're serious about about developing. Is this on Roblox? I can't find it. Yeah, it is. For some reason, it's uh, when you search it, you can't find it. So uh, what I did was I linked it in the description for you guys. Fight this level four. Those reviews are jokes. Yeah, like I've come out with day one reviews for games because like Coromon, right? Day one review. Well, I had the game for like almost a month before it came out. Um, even Nexomon Extinction day one review well guess what i had the game for two weeks before it came out uh, that's different but like when everybody gets a game on launch day at least beat the game e even the digimon survive reviews a lot of them like like a lot of the games journalist ones were like a day after launch like it's a 40 hour game just to beat the main story how how did you do that <laughs> and the, and even ign didn't get digimon survive early like they did not give anybody the game early like, I literally spoke to Bandai Namco, and they said we gave it to nobody early. Okay, wh where are all the trainers at, man? Wh what? 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 We need to level up. Nice hat. Honestly, honestly, like, like again, it still needs animations and stuff like that, but the concept, I think, is very good. Like, considering this is, like, an early access slash, like, alpha type thing, like, I think this has a lot of potential. Vine Smite. Even if I lose these battles, by the way, I'm still leveling up, so that's the important part. I didn't even see what level this guy was. I tried to click it before Yikes stole it. The demo, it's very possible that the demo is PC only. I'm not sure. Oh, level three. Come here. Come here. <laughs> People in Japan are going crazy with Ultra Kaiju. I'm not that worried about it selling well. That's good. I just want it to sell well here. Because if it sells well here too, it doesn't have to sell amazing here. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, some crazy, like, like... Why did that chicken fall? What is that? Uh, it doesn't have to be, like, some crazy, like, high-performing title. But as long as it sells good, we're good. Monster Rancher 1 and 2 DX is just Monster Rancher 1 and 2, but ported to Switch. Personally... I personally, and I played both, like I'm still playing Kaiju, but personally, and, and I have no nostalgia bias here because I never played the originals when I was a kid, I think Ultra Kaiju is better. That's my personal opinion. I just think the game feels sharper, the trait mechanics really cool. Um, one thing I will say is so far, I like the fusion system from the original better. It seems a little more straightforward, but other than that, like I'm enjoying the Kaiju one a lot more. And, and the attacks just feel like they have so much weight behind them when you're using them. Whereas in the originals, they don't. 
Look at this guy. He's taunting me. He stole this from me. Now he's taunting me with it. <laughs> Thief! That's so jokes. You could totally grief people. Like, just get a group of people to go, like, follow a YouTuber and just, like, steal all their stuff. <laughs> That's gonna happen to me. <laughs> Kaijun, yeah, it's it's released in the West. Uh, it's not available in Europe, but um, you could very easily just switch your eShop to a Western country to get it. Um, if you have the, like, if you're able to buy Western currency, you could very easily do that. Like, I feel like you could probably just use PayPal or something to to do it. Um, I, I'm. You could probably also buy the Japan version of the game because I think it has an English option. Just switch your eShop, go to Play Asia, buy a buy a um, an eShop card because you can use like um, I think you can use uh, Euro to buy there. I'm not sure. We need to get to level ten. My team of fish are gonna win. That level 8 guy is gone. The firefly is cool that it has a bunch of different colors. I like that. Your plants suck. Freaking roll on them. Ed, the fisher with a team of six Magikarps. Yes, I am. You think it's possible they might port the Pokemon Game Boy games? I don't know. They might do do uh, something for them because either that or they'll put... Oh my god, can you imagine if they put them on the shitty Switch online? Like, you have to rent the games, basically. And then your, your Pokemon save files are basically, like, held hostage. That would be hilarious. I'd actually laugh if they did that. <laughs> that would be messed up. Oh. Hello, right now I'm doing some research on insects. If you can help, I can give you some currency, provide you anything you want. Show the six different colors of Lumini. Okay, why not? They come in six different colors of uh, what I've seen. I've noticed they seem to produce some kind of dust when they're battling. If you could try to catch me six different colors, okay. It's angel dust. Oh, you know what I should also do? Who can learn mercy? Can you learn mercy? Perfect. Damn it, I don't want to fight you. No mercy for you. Pokebank sub Nintendo. Well, the thing about Pokemon Bank is like, when the eShop goes down, you're never going to be able to download it again. And then it's only a matter of time before they get rid of the Pokemon Bank servers too. They're not going to keep them up forever. So eventually, certain Pokemon are going to be stuck. Last time I checked, there's number two best-selling games in the eShop in Japan. Nice. Is it anywhere? Have you checked uh, the Western eShops at all? This one's blue and that one's purple. In conclusion, embrace piracy. <laughs> Lol. That's all I'm gonna say is lol. Oh, that's super effective, eh? They're not playing. I bubblish. There's some games on 3DS eShop before they shut it down. 
Yeah, one, I, I, I think I made a video a while back. Or no, did I end up coming out with I don't think I ended up coming out with it. I wanted to make a 3DS eShop video. You can lose whatever you have there. You forgot to resub within a month, too. Oh! Well, to be fair with Pokemon Bank, I left my Pokemon in there for like two years without resubbing, and they were fine. <laughs> so I haven't had that experience, fortunately. Ooh, a green one. I was scared when someone said that your Pokemon could disappear. So I went and checked, and thank God they were all still there. I have a living Dex in Pokemon Bank. I haven't transferred them yet because I wasn't sure if I wanted where I wanted to leave them. I thought e shops already down. No more purchases. You're allowed to still use uh, eShop cards if you can find them for the 3DS, but you can't you can't um, you can't load money with a credit card, which makes no sense. Oh, well, unless that's been updated, I, I don't know. You, if it's only re-downloads, re then yeah, it's it's done. <laughs> if that's the case, if you guys are right about that, I haven't I haven't really looked into it. I haven't been paying attention. I mean, honestly, if they're going to shut down the eShop, just uh, to jailbreak your 3DS. You can play whatever you want. They're going to be sus about it. <clears throat> I don't really have anything else I could use on this thing. So what do I have now? I I'm going to have blue and this is green. It refused it? That's ridiculous. That's a joke that Nintendo would still let you buy their card, but not redeem it. That That's actually a joke. Like, they should recall all the codes if that's the case and make them invalid. Like, that's actually a joke if that's true. Such an anti-consumer company. Jesus Christ. Why is this guy confused? Now, why is this guy confused? What's going on? What a strange shrine. Apparently it was made for Kinolite. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Cause you can use them for the Switch. Oh, the, are they the same card? I thought they were different for the 3DS. Cause Nintendo's always got their like different, different points. Like remember there was like the Wii points and then there was like Okay, they're the same. Okay, then I guess I guess they get a pass. <laughs> I guess. Okay, okay. All right, never mind then. Okay, we got blue and we got uh we got green. To be honest, I mostly just want to want to fight that one guy. Nintendo's like the apple of gaming. That's what I've compared it to. It's not a good thing. <laughs> uh, level six, let's go. Let's go, let's fight. Fight. I found the legendary and my game broke, so I had to leave and get it. Ouch. If Nintendo was like Apple, a Switch would cost 800 bucks. Well, okay. To be fair, iPhones cost the same as, as Androids, do they not? Like a, gal a Galaxy and an iPhone cost the same amount, right? So like Switch is still charging the same amount as the other consoles, or slightly less, I guess, for like a console that's not even half as powerful. So I mean, eh. I'm ta I'm not Activision's like a, a game. Activision is like how do I explain it? Nintendo's like like you have Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft. Those are like the big ones, and then like Activision's like 
works with them. I don't know how to explain it. Like, but but I wouldn't consider like, I wouldn't compare Activision and Nintendo. They're like on different levels, I guess you could say. I hate that these guys have these steel type things. I don't have anything to fight them with. Android for life. You guys, have, some of you guys have seen my phone. My phone's a freaking $500 phone with a keyboard. That's purple. Come here. Come here. Did somebody steal it? Why is this still here? Why can't I fight it? I want you. Okay, no purple for me. Oh, they have swarms? Interesting. Your phone is awesome. Phones need keyboards, man. If they just made a Samsung Galaxy with a keyboard, like a new one, I would just buy it. Yeah, Ko, I don't think it's gonna... You know what the... A big problem is nostalgia. Like, even people who complain about modern Pokemon... Oh, I killed it. Will continue to buy it because they're nostalgic for the franchise. And that's just something you can't you can't really compete with. Like, that's something that you compete with over, like, the next 20 years, right? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta install new nostalgia to, like, a new generation. But, like, Pokemon's still doing it, right? Nintendo would shut down all emulators and preserve old games, then resell those games for 60. Yeah, they would. <laughs> they totally would. Okay, that's our third color if we caught him. Excuse me. Ah, we got him. Okay, that's our third color. Oh, we don't have yellow yet. Oh, I think I hit the battle so quick that now there's two musics playing. I enjoyed Arceus. I, I thought it was fun, but it definitely didn't have that same, like, endgame playability that other Pokemon games had. Like, once I completed the decks, I was done. Like, once it, you, once you beat Arceus, you're just done. Like, to never, to never play the game again. Um, whereas with, like, even with Sword and Shield having, like, as minimal endgame as it does, there's still, like, at least, like, the battle tower. Like, I, I felt like once I beat Arceus, there was, like, not really anything to do. Nintendo can charge a portability tax. It's the only console... With yeah, but the thing is, like, then why was the Wii U almost as expensive as other consoles? Like, Nintendo just charges a Nintendo tax. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's portable or not. Yeah, we caught him. Okay, we got four. I don't know what the other two colors are. I think it's red and... Uh, I don't think we got the purple one. So it's red and purple, I think, we still need. And we have blue, green, orange, and yellow. Yeah, I think it's red and purple is the only two we need. Also, if I can find some trainers to kill, that'd be nice too. Need to level up my team of fish. No, that's, that's not a trainer. Go. 
Come on, Ian. Being Ian. Oh, there's a purple one right in front of me. Steam Deck exists, so I don't... Oh, I don't agree with this expensive and portability tax. I mean, the, to be fair, the Steam Deck is more expensive than the Switch, but it's also, like, way more powerful. <laughs> the Steam Deck is okay. Like, I do have some issues with it. Like, I... I, I it's not perfect, but, it, you know, it's not bad. It's pretty cool. Oh, I got kicked out of the battle. The battle froze again. Dang it. The guy I'm supposed to fight. My team isn't ready yet. Come a bit later and we'll have that battle. What? What do you mean your team's not ready yet? Oh, I got do I gotta finish that bug catcher mission? Jailbreak it to put windows? I've heard putting windows on it isn't really good though. Steam Link mobile app, I've done that. Get in there. Who, who do you think you're jumping away from, bro? Why do they all have the same look on their face? Yeah, I destroyed my data with uh, Steam, a Steam, Steam Link on my phone. Are you serious? Teabag him. There, we got kicked out again. Yeah, trainer battles seem to be messed up. Definitely a bit of an issue. But again, you know, alphas are alphas. I want a Steam Deck, but I'm trying to wait for a new and improved version of the Steam Deck. Yeah, I don't, but you, you, like, like it's not, it's not something that you need to get like immediately so you could play these like certain games, right? Like most of the game. One nice thing about the Steam Deck is I installed a bunch of emulators on it, so like I've been playing like Zelda: The Wind Waker on it. Oh, Roblox shut down the server for maintenance. Ew. Uh, well, that is unfortunate, but let's see if it'll let us back in. Oh, we're back in. It's all good. We need to find two more bugs. Okay, can we fight and you not kill, you not instantly die? Maybe if I just fight a bunch of weak ones, they'll die so fast that uh, they won't have time to glitch out on me. Tales of Tenario time. I think that game's gonna be pretty cool. It's another Pokemon fan game that got shut down, right? So I think it has potential. Yeah, the crash has been somewhat often, yeah. Um, I mean, if this game was fully out, it'd be more of an issue, but like, this is a demo. Not even a demo, this is more of, I, I think this is more of an alpha test. I think they're just, they want people to test the game.
my biggest issue, Raffle, with Steam Deck, I agree with you, by the way. My biggest issue is how many games don't work on it. Like, like half my library is um, either like unknown if it'll work or like not compatible at all, which kind of sucks. Like Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, um, last time I checked, was not able to connect. And I was like, are you serious? Like, that kind of sucks. Any tips on making a monster taming game? Um, try to have something that makes your game unique. Don't just... Like, like, like even if you're going for, like, a Pokemon-like formula, like, look at Nexomon, right? You might... At surface level, you might say, oh, it's just Pokemon. But it's not. Like, it has a more uh, engaging story. It has, like, those kind of, like, anime-esque, like, stills that look really nice. Coromon's got its own shiny system. Uh, the, the, both those games have Nuzlocke settings. You have to have stuff that make the game um, differentiate itself from other games. Making monster taming games is very hard because there's a lot that goes into a taming game. More more so than, than even just like a normal RPG. Right? Because you have so many different characters you have to account for. I love the new take on shiny. Yeah, the Kaseppi shiny system is pretty dope. I think it's pretty awesome. It can, I don't think Kaseppis will have PvP, otherwise that could be a nightmare. Like, can you imagine trying to get, like, the perfect set with, like, randomized attacks in a randomized type? <laughs> like, because I'm sure there's some kind of crazy set out there if you get, like, the right RNG. But as, like, but for, like, a single-player experience, I think it's perfect. Okay, this steel line has used two goddamn potions already. Like, can you not? Can you not spam potions, please? Glitter battles, yes. I was actually uh, pleasantly surprised with how that cassette bit, uh, beats video did, because um, the demo's already been out, and I think we almost got Barry up to uh, 200 subs. We're, we're, we're gonna get him to hit that hit that uh, hit that 200 sub milestone there. Yeah, he's at 180. We're almost there, boys. Barry said once he gets to 200 subs, he'll make an OnlyFans, so... A free OnlyFans. Free to play. Okay, let's see if I kill this turn. Use Flail, I don't care. Yes! I want to see a taming game where you can fight with your monsters like SMT. Uh, check out Monster Hunter Stories. You can do exactly that. Is this purple or blue? That's blue. Red! That's hot. Use mercy! Yeah, even the first one I thought was really good. Uh, the first one's on 3DS. It, the first one basically has the wild area that everyone went so crazy about from Sword and Shield on a 3DS game. <laughs> Proton DB? What's that? To know if the game works? Is that like a website? Because Steam Deck has like a little icon that says whether or not it'll work, right? And for Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, it says no. <clears throat> See this part? It's a Gangster's Paradise song. Dun oh, it's gone. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, makes games work on Linux. Okay. See, you guys are you guys are you guys are getting a little crazy. Okay, now we just need the purple one. Purple. Are you purple? Are you purple? No. You're not purple. This is a pizza angel. That's dope. 
Wait, how did you get a steel kitty? I didn't even see one. Oh, it's probably a starter. That was one of the starters, wasn't it? When I said, ugh, cat. Red. Wait, do I have any heals? I kind of want to save those for the final fight. Okay, let's go heal. You can find the starters in the wild. Oh, okay, they're probably really rare. And like, people are stealing them. <laughs> I guaranteed mine will get stolen. Digimon Survive is labeled as playable? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Cyber Sleuth wasn't, though. What is this? Oh, candy? Do I, I don't have any candy. Wait, no, no, no. I don't want to buy bait. Candy? How do you get candy? What is this? Where's the candy? Candy buckets spawn around the map? I haven't seen a single one! <laughs> I haven't seen one this whole time! Wait, are those the chests? Because I did have a chest. I, I did get a chest. But I don't remember it having candy in it. Okay, get one-shotted. That should still get one-shotted. What do you got a level two for? Oh, it survived? Disgusting. Strike? No. Why are you wasting potions? Don't trust the icons. I own a deck in many games live. Oh. Yeah, my Steam Deck's actually at my other house, which I haven't been to in a while. I should probably go check my other house to make sure there's no squatters there. <laughs> Steam Duck. Oh, which move would you like to remove? Draining Fang. Screw Startle. Yeah, give me my 81 bucks. Okay, he's level 10. We just need a Purple Firefly. Purple Firefly! Where you at, homie? What color are you? Is that purple? That's purple. I think that's purple. That's purple, right? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, cool. Mercy! Razzle! Violet, purple, same crap. It's like when uh, me and my, I'll, I'll tell my wife like, oh, that's, that's red. She'd be like, well, actually it's burgundy. But shut up. <laughs> Don't be pulling that crap. Unlike Steam that takes a week to check if games got broken. <laughs> well, you, at least Steam updates are quicker. You get something on Switch and you're screwed. <laughs> to wait like two weeks for the update to go through. 
a little bit sus when that happens. All right, we got the last one. Go give the stupid bug catcher. Now we we gotta go to the PC and deposit all of our guys, just so we can have a bunch of stupid bugs in our party. I don't want to release it. Wait. Oh, I got scared. I got scared there. <laughs> I was like, where's the sixth one? <laughs> there. Okay. Okay. Let's go find the stupid bug catcher. If I can remember where he was. He doesn't have a thing on the map. Or if he does, I, I don't see it. I remember he was by like a mountain. He's just sort of chilling. I should probably fix this. There we go. Thanks for playing our game. Hey, we got devs in the chat. Hey, no problem. We're having fun. want a cracker? Bye, Polly. Glad to hear, man. Everything is being fixed and talked about as we go for free to listen on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I know there were, you guys, I think you guys were already aware, but there is a bug with like uh, battles. Sometimes we get locked out. But as I was telling uh, my audience, like obviously this is a demo. You guys are just trying to like test certain aspects of the game. So like nobody's expecting the game to be perfect. <laughs> nice. I'm trying to find the bug catcher. Oh, I see a chest. Money, 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 money. Perfect. Now we can cheese the battles. We got lots of potions. No candy. No candy for Ed. I don't think so, because the level... Oh, there he is. Level cap's only 10. So, I, I don't think evolutions. I gotta go take care of the egg. Barry, you should know by now that your family is not important when I'm streaming. Goodness! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or am I? Here you go, buddy. Take all of them. All right, let me try looking at it. It seems like, okay. Let's check out more of them. No. Oh yeah, buddy. I got you all the Lumini. I'm tucking you in bed. 
Um, I, I don't think there is autosave because um, the game's always online. So like, it technically there's no there wouldn't be an autosave. It's just your progress is kept because it's like on the server, right? So I, I guess technically you could say there is, but like you, you don't have to save. But it's like the same as like any MMO, right? Like if you're playing RuneScape, it's not just your progress that's personal to you. It's like saved on the server. Don't forget to give him food to give good, oh, good night kisses. <laughs> this one, here you go. No, let's check, it's dust. It also seems they don't produce enough of it to get any decent size amounts unless they're KO'd in battle. The issue with using your own and having it get KO'd is that it returns to its seal before it produces a lot. This means the only way for you to get a good sample would be by KOing a wild one. Well, since I'm not a true Kinelite trainer, I can't collect any sample large enough, but if you did, I would buy it off you. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. I like that mechanic. I like the idea of getting, like, spoils when you beat stuff up. Oh, oh, was this one of those candy things? Yes! I got two. <laughs> oh, the candy's coming. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> It's all mine. Ah! Are you going to get a content creator skin in Doodle World? I don't know, because I don't even have the content creator role in their Discord. <laughs> Someone told me uh, for the Doodle World Discord, oh, you just have to email the mods. Well, I tried to message one of them, and <laughs> they don't have messages turned on. So, like, I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I know the revenue split on Roblox isn't very good. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's go try to fight that guy. First, we gotta put our stuff in the PC. Make sure you in our Kinelite Kingdom cord, bro. Yeah, I am. I need to verify, but I am. I'm in the Discord already. I'm in so many Discord servers, it's not even funny. Like, <laughs> I still need to verify the Lumion one. <laughs> All right, let's go with my team of fish. Who's my highest level bug? He's only level two. Uh, insect light. He's level five. Three. Level two. I think the level five one's my highest. Level five. Okay. All right. Let's let us let us give the fight a shot. We might be a little under leveled, but we only got one guy to level ten. But we'll, we'll give him we'll give him a shot. What's up, kid? Sorry, my team isn't ready yet. No. As I said before, I'd recommend having at least a few level tens. Sawara is crying on Steam on stream that you're playing his game. Who's Sawara? <laughs> is that the is that the lead dev? I knew what this game was, but it wasn't actually until Pixel Bit in our Discord server actually linked me the the thing that that I knew was coming out today. Like I had just heard, like known this game in passing. So um, I'm glad I'm glad I found out about it though. Let's try to get a few guys to level ten so we can. Oh yeah, l l let me check that main quest. Defeat the strange man in a battle. Okay. So I think I gotta get someone to level 10 to fight him. That's my guess. Let me see if I can find... That's cool. How'd you get the Nimbus Cloud? That's not fair. 
Come here, rookie. Ah, uh, won't let me fight her. Okay, go away, Roxy. I'll find another rookie. Are you going to make guides for this game? Yeah, why not? Probably. I don't know if I'll be able to be as fast as some of those other Roblox YouTubers, but I'll try my best. Uh, right now in the demo, I don't see the like I don't see a reason to make a guide for the demo. I think everything's pretty straightforward. But like once a game, um, once a game starts to get like, like its its story progression and stuff like that, definitely. Because if the devs are still here, if I'm not mistaken, this isn't actually like the first island. This is like sort of like a demo island. Oh, who's this? Fight me. Why does this look like Doodle World? Um, it's, well, I, I, honestly, a lot of Roblox games look really similar because they use the same models for characters. Uh, this is uh, Kinolite Kingdom. That's one of the reasons I actually like games on Roblox is because I can keep using my same Gym Leader ad character, which is pretty cool. Your data saves, I, I, I think? Well, that's a good point, too, Raffold. <laughs> and there wouldn't be any overworld encounters. Oh, and my character would look shorter. The characters look taller in this game, which I like. Strike. But yeah, I will be adding Kinolite uh, Kingdom to our Monster Tamer News um, list. Uh, okay, I want to try to get the next guy to level 10. Yeah, I will be I, I will be adding it to our Monster Tamer News list. So anytime there's uh, any news for the game, like anything anything major, I'll... Uh, oh, oh, that's how you set up the follow. Okay, you can follow. Um, yeah, so anytime there's anything major, like... Or, or, or even like even if there's something small like usually ends up in the rapid fire news but but it'll be covered now uh whenever there's news uh in general like i'll be checking it each week like i do with most games it does sound like gangster's paradise right Did you play the Halloween event? No, but I want to do it tomorrow if I if I have a chance. That's the plan. Um, I'll let you guys know for sure. I do want to play it at some point. I just don't know for sure if it'll be tomorrow or not. My work schedule has actually been really busy. <laughs> Things in general have been busy. Like We've had a bunch of events for different games. Uh, Monster Rancher just came out. I've been swamped. I'll show you guys the gangster. When it gets to the, the part of the song, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. It sounds like Gangster Paradise. I don't think it's yet. I don't. I don't think it's it's yet. Ah, oh, stop healing. I guess this part. Yeah. Na 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 na. <laughs> like I feel it's, it sounds like the background music for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just using flail and he keeps healing. Uh, 
Um, after this fight, I'm gonna try to battle that guy again. Uh, if he doesn't let me, I do have to finish up the stream. Uh, if anybody in the comments knows how to activate his fight, uh, I'm definitely willing to hear. Because he keeps saying he's getting ready. But earlier he said he was ready. So I'm just a little bit... I I'm trying to figure out how to fight him. You can buy more what? Oh, uh, he, 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 he disappeared. You can buy more from a shopkeeper. Oh, bait. He's talking about bait. You can't do his battle yet. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was wondering. I was like, I was like, oh, do I have to get a whole team ready? Ed, do you want uh, more games to be releasing next year? Or do you want it to be more slow paced? Honestly, I, I some people will argue that oh, too many games is oversaturation. But my, in my opinion, oversaturation in the genre is when it's too many games that are exactly the same, which we haven't seen. Like. Cassette Beast is very different from Power World, is very different from Evil Creo, is very different from X Game, uh, Patch Quest is coming out next year, it's very different from the Digimon game that's coming out next year, etc, etc, right? The only thing I would worry about is if there's too many games that are exactly the same, which honestly, like, there's different subsects of Monster Taming game, like you have the Pokemon-like ones, you have the, like, like, so that's like your Nexamon, your Temtem, your Coromon. You could throw most of the Roblox games into there too, but even then they have their own sort of caveats. But there's tons of, like, non-Pokemon-like monster taming games too. So, like, I'm happy, you know, as long as the games are quality, that they can come out as fast as they want. Um, just try to keep it a month apart from each other <laughs> so I have time. Um, I am going to call it a stream. Uh, or, sorry, I, I'm going to call the stream a day. Um, I still never got an. I don't. I don't think I never. I, I ever got an answer to that question about s someone was crying on their stream. And give a shout out to the devs. Shout out to the devs. <laughs> I'm reading back the old stuff. Uh, so, someone said something over here. We all know Ed does not sleep. That's true. Um. Yeah, I can't find it. Oh. Sawera is crying on stream that you're playing his game. I Where's the stream? <laughs> I want to see this. <laughs> um, yeah, good night, y'all. Currently, uh, the final battle is in game. I got gotcha. you. Uh, why does this look like Doodle? We already answered that. Yeah, so, all right, we're caught up. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so tomorrow I will try to do the Lumion event too. But uh, until then, definitely check out the game. I have the Roblox linked in the description. So if you want to play it and can't find it in the store, I noticed it wasn't showing up in the Roblox store. Uh, it's linked below, so you can check it out. But with all that being said, I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for coming out. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider doing so. I upload usually two monster taming videos a day. Uh, the first one's usually like a guide or a discussion or something like that. And the second one's generally a let's play. Uh, changes here and there, but you guys get the point. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, we'll uh, see you later. Thanks for coming out.